I've been thinking about this and I've been saying a lot about bad things that are coming and I've been saying that and I don't I'm just reporting the facts what's going on and the main point is to be aware of what's going on that's why I do it I want to wake as many people as I can and for them to come to Christ or if they don't come to Christ at least know what's going on and you make your own decision whether you want to be in, to be saved or or believe the lie all I'm trying to do is show you what's really happening and I, I want to show you the truth but the reason why I'm making this video is because I've been telling you all these things but the main purpose of all this is that the Lord our Lord Jesus Christ who died on the cross for us He is coming to save all of us in this way of life that we know that is so destruct and changed into a system that is so evil now all over the world we see that there's no mercy the rich get richer the poor gets poorer and even when we're poor they still want to oppress all of us they just want to drain us to the point that we have to rebel against the evil but what I want to say is that the Lord is in control of everything the Lord will save us he will send his holy angels to protect us all the evil that is gonna happen will be to those people who don't make up their mind on what they believe and they're gonna have to suffer a suffering that they will, they will have to make that the Lord never planned on them happening only if they have trusted in the Lord the Lord will protect them the Lord will save them if they ask for him to save them and save them at the last moment before they take their lives but the Lord has promised to deliver his people he says he will fight this war for us so all of us we don't have to worry about guns because if we do that what what different are we from them they are gonna harm us Jesus Christ showed us a great example when he was here on earth he says I'll give you a little example when they were trying to take Jesus as a prisoner the Apostle Paul grabbed his knife or his sword and he cut the ear of the other guy the one of the guards and Jesus stopped him and told him Paul don't you know he says if you live by the sword you will die by the sword and Jesus says don't you know that I could call a legion of angels right now to protect me Jesus show a little bit of his power when they were trying to arrest him when he got up all of these people fell to the ground and they were all scared but they little by little they cut him and started surrounding him and they lay hands on him again and what I'm saying that the Lord is so powerful if he would have told us to bear arms to fight for these kingdoms of this earth he would have said it but he said no he says my kingdom is not of this earth his kingdom is his heavenly kingdom if the Lord would have said it if he said if that if our kingdom would have been of this life of this earth Jesus says my followers would have bear, would have lift up weapons arms and fight for it but we gotta remember the Lord Almighty is preparing 
in the Jesus says, in the house of my father there are many mansions. All these mansions will be for all of the people who conquer this evil that is soon taking place. The Lord will give a new name of victory to those who are faithful against the beast and his image. Talking about the churches in the Vatican power in the states in all the countries of this world. He says, if you are faithful to me, he says, if Christ was saying this, if you are faithful to the, me, I will give you a name, a victory. I will give you a pearl in your hand. And only the one who gets this pearl and looks at the name knows the name. We got the Lord will give us a name of victory. It will be in a pearl. Look it up in your Bible in Revelations, it talks about that. And when you look at the name, the name will describe you. And the Lord will give you a name of victory. And also he says, if you are faithful to him and stand strong for the Lord Almighty, he will have you eat from the tree of life that is that is talked about here in the Bible. The tree of life has 12 fruits, different fruits. Whoever eats of that tree of life becomes more eternal. That's one another promise. It says, if you defeat, if you stand firm for the Lord in these last days, the Lord will have you sit at His table and He will serve you. You're going to sit with the saints and all the people who were faithful to God throughout history. The Lord says, just be faithful. There's so many promises out there to those who are faithful to God. This gives me so much joy because I know that we are so close for His second coming. And the events they will flee will be so terrible that the only one that you could even, even think to help you will be the Lord Himself. He says, if you ask me, He will send the Holy Spirit, His angels to protect you. We gotta pray and ask, Lord, send your Holy Spirit, send your holy angels to protect us in these last days. You ask that, no matter who you are, what you've been through, the Lord loves you the way you are. When Jesus was here on this earth, he didn't hang around in the church too much. He was hanging around with all the prostitutes, all the sinners, all the tax collectors. He was hanging around with the people that needed him most. Jesus' great-grandmother was a prostitute. I mean, I could give you so many examples how the Lord was so merciful and loving to all of us. Remember, when you're in trouble, say, Jesus, save me. If you ask him in his name, he will send his Holy Spirit, his holy angels to protect you. The Bible says that a thousand shall fall by your right hand and ten thousand shall fall by your left hand and no harm will come to you. Psalms 91, read it all. It says how God will protect the people that put him up high. The Lord is in total control. The devil is so scared. He's running out of time. He knows his doom day is so short. And whoever follows the Pope will be destroyed with Satan and his angels. So whatever the Pope says and all the religions who are following the Pope's authority will be destroyed by the wrath of God. The wrath of God are, is coming. And fear that most than what these people are trying to do to us. The wrath of God are the ten last, the seven last plagues. And they are, if you read them in the Bible, they're not, they're terrible plagues. I will rather be on the, God, on the Lord's side and fear a little persecution than be of the ones who receive the wrath of God. So do not accept the National Sunday Law. And the Lord will protect all of us, my brethren. God bless you.